found a couple of neat drawings to help you picture the difference between solids, liquids, and gases. If you put an ice cube in a jar, it just sits on the bottom of the jar. Because it's a solid, it keeps its shape. If you put a liquid in the jar, it fills up the bottom and takes the shape of the jar. That's a liquid. Now, if you filled the jar with a gas, it would spread out to fill the entire jar. And that's an easy way to remember the difference between these three forms of matter. So let's review what we've learned so far. First, we know that all matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms, and that these particles can move. In some things, the particles are packed tightly together and are not able to move around much. These are solids, and they keep their shapes. 